From the western Kentucky tornadoes to the eastern Kentucky floods, the Kentucky Air National Guard has been deployed to disasters across the Commonwealth. WDRB's Christy Batista introduces us to a furry member of the team who helps in their mission. The Kentucky Air National Guard gets sent at the drop of a hat when disaster strikes, but there's one four-legged member of the team that's helping them get to people much faster. Ten shot. Yes, good girl. Even though she's on base. Rule of thumb, if I'm wearing Eye or Ear Pro, I, I'm going to use some Eye and Ear Pro protection for Callie as well. Kentucky Air National Guard search and rescue canine Callie is ready to work. That's one way to go. I've been having them jump around on that because it's all unstable boxes. <laughs> The kid's sister, Pitts, is still learning the ropes. So Callie is the only search and rescue dog in the entire U.S. military. She's able to fly in helicopters with us, skydive, uh, anything that we could use to possibly get to some place to effect a rescue. Callie is certified to look for missing people in wilderness, avalanche, rubble piles, or disaster areas. Look at this video of her skydiving. She's jumped with her handler, Master Sergeant Rudy Parsons, 12 times. The amount that she brings and amplifies in our ability to rescue and recover is just incredible. When disaster strikes, she and Master Sergeant Parsons are the ones who gets called. Our current method is carrying around big, cumbersome devices or just using our eyes and ears, which aren't very effective. Callie is exponentially better at using her nose than we are and, and she can really reduce the amount of time that it takes for us to find that person, which in the long run, those minutes, those count. Master Sergeant Parsons says a 36 hour search and rescue mission would take Cali three hours. Most recently, the flood in eastern Kentucky. Callie is the one who found the four kids who were killed by the floodwaters. Kind of the good that we can find out of that is that at least they have closure on where their kids are at. Their squadron was able to rescue more than a dozen others. She also helped in the recovery mission at the candle factory in Mayfield after the December tornadoes. He really does have two sides of the coin. There's the, the hope and the joy that comes when you, when you are able to help in a rescue um, and really save somebody's life. Uh, but then also the other side of the coin, there is the ugly side of the coin that a lot of times, you know, it's either too late or there's no, there was no ability to save that person. Pitts hopes to be the second search and rescue canine in the next six to seven months. In Louisville, Christy Batista, WDRB News.